Today we're off to the Premier League hospitality, one that I've had to get our mortgage to go to. Okay. What a game we have here, isn't it? That is a cracking view of the stadium, isn't it? We're about to step outside, I feel very out of place, but... Oh, no. We're not involved! We're not involved in any of this! Hospitality, prawn sandwiches, padded seats, none of the riffraff in the stands, the way the more well-to-do like to experience football. ...to hold and give, but do it at the right time. ...without having to deal with the subhuman scum like me and Ben Gibbs. Today, we're doing a comparison. On Saturday, we're going to watch a non-league game in their top hospitality at Bromley FC with a total price coming to £70 for two tickets. £35 a ticket, which on the surface seems unreal value. Then on Sunday, we're going up five divisions to the current world champions, Chelsea, to try out their Cannaville suite, which comes to a total cost of £621.60. We're then going to compare them based on five categories, food quality, atmosphere, seat quality, value for money, and would we go again? Without further ado, let's get into this. Right, Ben, are you ready to be wined and dined? And then refined. Yeah. Oh. This video was very, very expensive to do. So of course, a huge thanks to the sponsor of this video. Omada. Yesterday is a big treat for us thanks to Omada, but it's not just us they're treating, they're also treating you by giving the opportunity to win two free football shirts just by downloading the app and getting involved. All you have to do is download Omada at the top of the description. It's the completely free sports prediction app in which every day all you stake is your ego and your pride no money, and once again, by downloading it, you can win two free football shirts. How it works is, one of them is given away to you just by competing in the squad. I'll choose a winner at random, as you can see, his last week's winner on screen. And then also, the winner is given to the person that wins the away day squad throughout the week. The person that accumulates the most coins throughout the week will also win a football shirt. So there's two opportunities for you to win, and here's last week's overall away day squad winner as well. Lots of opportunities for you to win and it's completely free. It's very, very simple to get involved and play on Omada every day. There is new fixtures added to the app and all you have to do is pick what you think the result will be. It's easy to do. It's fun. It takes about two seconds of your time and once again, you're not staking any money as we know my stance on that. It's completely free and it's a nice fun way to enjoy predicting football matches. Anyway, we're going to have some fun ourselves today. We're going to get inside Hayes Lane. We're starting off with a non-league one at Bromley FC. 70 quid this came to for two tickets. We get a free course meal. God, and a parking space. And a parking space. This is so <laughs> Tell you what, Ben, if this club shop's anything to go by, we're in for a treat. You just said that exact same thing off camera. <laughs> It can't be the David Bowie, can it? Ziggy Stardust? I don't know any many David Bowie songs to make a joke, I'm sorry. Sorry, my mind's just drowning in bands. All the bands. That is incredible. I dribble for Bromley. It is David Bowie. What's the relevance? Ben, hmm? Google it. Can we just address the elephant in the room? Yes, there's something on my face. People are going to comment about it because of dicks. There's something on my face. All right, let's, let's get inside. I have herpes. What? This must be it, hospitality entrance, I believe. I think this is it. Come on then. You've, you've never been to a hospitality before, have you? This is so Merry Christmas. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> I've already spilled my drink. It's a disaster. <laughs> Step outside, I feel very out of place, Ben. Out of place, do you? Yeah. I'm in an Umbro England sweatshirt. <laughs> There's a lot of salmon in there, and not on the plates. Salmon shirts, you get the joke. I think the problem with us is, we're too awkward. So we've got to share the table and talk to people. Yeah. But I don't want to talk to people. I don't necessarily want to talk to you a lot. <laughs> what do you do for work? Oh, you do that, do you? Also, cash bar, but for £35 a ticket, you can't really complain. We're getting a free course meal. What have we become? What have you become? This was your idea, this was. What's the best thing about being a footballer? Playing football every day. You can do that if you're not a footballer, to be fair. He's really gone in depth for these answers. Do you have any pre-match rituals? No. Here we go, food time. This is the this is the moment really, isn't it? They've gone down the mark, so it's an hour late. An hour late, it's 10 minutes late. One thing I've noticed it, it's like an episode of Peaky Blinders. There's so many flat caps in there. You could do a one. Oh, I'm about that. You can do it with a face mask. Oi! Now fighting. <laughs> Shut up! Look at that for a dessert option. Lemon chisel cake. Very, very nice. Ben's gone for the brownie. If you don't know who I am, I'm the chairman and the owner here. My name's Robin. Who's for United? 
Leeds United. Like me, I couldn't give a flying whatever. Me and Ben are the only people who went up for seconds for dessert. It's there, it's there. Right? We come from working class roots. Now eat your lemon drizzle. Oh my god, my god you are a shambles. Go on, Ben, each table gets to put a prediction down. Table nine, what are you going to do? Bromley. One. Yeah, Yeovil. Four. <laughs> Cheeky. Brilliant. That is great. Someone's put 7-1 Bromley. Here we are with the seat. There isn't a padded seat, unless I'm wrong. I might be being wrong, but here is our view in the centre of the pitch. Very nice, very, very nice. The beauty of this seat is as well, to be fair, we're able to move over there and go stand behind the goal if we wanted to. But, no. I won't try and ask him for a wave. God. Not now, I'm scarred. Can I have a wave? Give me a wave. He's, he's, he's consciously doing that, right? You can hear me as well, Bluey. You are Bluey! Go on, Ben. We're marking this on atmosphere, remember? I'm expecting big things from you. I want to hear you louder than anyone else in the stadium. I want him to be able to hear you <laughs> over the River Thames. Come on, boy! There you go. We'll obviously cover this in our full review, but it's very cramped. Look, too close. You can almost taste him. Just to be clear, when we do the arm atmosphere marks, we're talking about from where we're sat, but there is atmosphere behind that goal there, but not where we are, I think it's fair to say. In fact, I think everyone can hear me saying this. <laughs> no, let it hit me in the face. Oh. It's again. Yo! Oh. 2-0. Celebrations, listen, slight, slightly over the top. And the crowd goes mild. Second half, me and Ben have decided we're going to go stand behind that goal. This ain't for us. Oh my god. Yo, but I'm just an absolute sitter. Right, Ben, I'm going to go check out the toilet. I've came down here to say, nice toilet. If I miss the goal, I'm going to be devastated. There's our cheese. Oh, he's leaving with the cheese. <laughs> this is an outrage. I've changed this to probably 5 4. Oh, what's that? <laughs> no, I don't. She looks f***ing hard. It's pathetic. What you actually got there? <laughs> We've taken a grape because I've never revealed it on my channel before, but my secret talent is being able to catch a grape in my mouth from any distance if thrown underarm. So we're going to prove that here for a little half-time entertainment on our way to the thing behind the goal. We're not involved in any of this. Hello, how are you doing? I'm very good, thanks. How are you? Am I going to be in a wave day? Yeah. A wave day. We're not involved in the. In the <laughs> I love that you're like, you just scored against your old club. It's just like, no, sorry, lad. What a game we have here. It's 3 1. It's game on. It's game on. Oh! oh. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not actually up for this. Hello. Right, we're back at the hotel, which means it's time for us to do our rankings for the game. We're going to do it. Remember, there's five categories. We're going to go through them one at a time. Food quality. I've gone for eight. I've gone for eight. Atmosphere. Bearing in mind, we've gone from, from the seat specifically. Five. Oh, I've gone two. <laughs> it was terrible. With a non-league one, you do sort of have the ability to go. You, so you can move, and we yeah, did you move. you said from the seat, totally. Yes, mate, five's maybe generous from me. Seat quality, I've gone five. I've gone five. We didn't have much leg room. Not that I don't care. It was just that if you're paying, you know what I mean? It's hospitality. It was quite squash and there wasn't any cushions on the seats. Like, what was promised? <laughs> value for money, I've gone 10. I've gone 10. It was, it was great value for money. Usually it's 50 quid, 
But I think even for that, I'd have given it 10 as well. Their regular match tickets are 22 quid. So like for 13 quid extra, we've got a free course meal and a cookie. How likely would we be to go again out of 10? I've gone eight. I've gone eight. Very nice. Okay. Which means overall, I gave it 36 out of 50. I gave it 33. Which means mine averaged a 7.2 rating. So will Chelsea be better? We'll find out tomorrow. We're gonna go to sleep and then we'll see you tomorrow at the bridge. But I feel like it's gonna be very hard to beat that. See you tomorrow. Hello, day two. Today we're off to the Premier League hospitality, one that I've had to get our mortgage to go to. Once again, a huge thanks to Omada for sponsoring this video. Check them out at the top of the description. Right, yesterday set the bar very, very high. We're in Chelsea's Cannaville suite today, which is one of their more premium hospitality options. I wanted to make sure both hospitality options were the same thing so we could compare fairly. So we're going to get there, get inside, and eat lots of cheese and crackers. We'll probably sing as well, which I'm really looking forward to. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea! We've got the most creative chant in the Football League. Yeah. There you go. You can take a player out of Chelsea, but you can never take Chelsea out of the player. My blood is blue. It's not factually correct, is it? Pretty sure this is us, Copthorne Hotel Hospitality Entrance. We're so out of place, aren't we? Yeah. I've got a cold sore on my face. What, what have I got? Go on, you can say it. What have I got? People can, this speaks for itself. <laughs> the comments will let us know. Cheers to another hospitality. Ben, yesterday the two pints at the non-league game came to £9.60. Guess how much the two pints came to today? £18. £15.40. What's that? £7.70 a pint. It's not too bad in London, to be fair, is it? It's still terrible. Some news, I mean, me and Ben both don't care. I'm a Leeds fan, he's a Liverpool fan. But Michaelo Mudrick is being announced today as a 100 million euro signing. Leave this in the video. That seems like a lot of money. You could have got Kavara at Napoli for that. Football chat from Ellis. Here we go, finally leaving him. <laughs> leaving him where he belongs. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. That's great, thank you. Cheers. To be fair, Ben, that is a cracking view of the stadium, isn't it? That is a really good view of the stadium, to be fair to him. Ben, I'll be honest. My expectations were low based on my experience at Liverpool. Right. But this is good. It is good. And we're not going to reveal anything until we've eaten the food. We haven't eaten the food or anything. We haven't enjoyed the game. We're not Chelsea fans, obviously. No, Leeds are actually rivals of Chelsea, but we're taking this to experience what it is. We've got a programme. And also, we need to bear in mind the money spent as well. Ben shows us some good seats. It's a good view of the stadium. <laughs> there we go. We've gone for a roast dinner as well, so we can compare both roast dinners from both days. Ben's exploring the fact that you can go for seconds. I'm on dessert. Ben's gone for, what was that, black bean Chinese chicken? Black bean chicken, egg fried rice, and a vegetable gyoza. Does it feel like you're at the football? No. Nah, that's, that's probably the takeaway. You go from both hospitality experiences. It feels like um, we're at a Tory press conference. They've even got ice cream. Cheers. That's <laughs> disgusting. Something has just dawned on me. There's no half time stuff here. It's full time. They do an afternoon tea at full time. But we need to get home. So we'll maybe leave in the 85th, come and see what the afternoon tea is, and then go. Because at Bromley they did a full time thing as well where you got to meet the man of the match. Don't think they're going to have the man of the match go around every of the 44 hospitality boxes here. But just bear that in mind, by the way. There's no half time cheese for you. No cheese. It's full time scones. Which either way is very a weird sentence I've just said at the football. So Ben, you actually have to leave the hospitality to then go in the stand. So hopefully we get a padded seat. Cannaville seat in, there we go. You need to stomp your heels so much, we're in posh land now. I can confirm, as we can see here, the seats are slightly padded. Ben has made a very good point actually. We've got an incredible view of the away fans, which if you're like a, a random tourist, it's probably a bit odd for you that you're gonna be offered out by like thousands of away fans. But for us, this is brilliant. It's worth noting there's less leg contact today, which is disappointing really. Ben, you know what I'm excited for? It's nearly time for the chant. Chelsea, Chelsea. <laughs> oh, the players are out. Atmosphere. 
Has anyone chanted yet? There's been no chance, has there? This is like so dead. Even like in the other parts of the stadium, I don't know what's going on. We've got some claps. Oh. Uh. It's still nil nil. If this doesn't give us a Chelsea, 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 what's the point? Come on, Ben, give us a chance. Start a chance. Chelsea, 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 Chelsea. Go on, Ben. Chelsea, Chelsea. Two people joined in. We'll obviously can't really give in too much to these until full time. There's nothing much in the game because nothing's really out. Palace fans are great, but that's not what we're doing. Seats are comfy. I mean, you do actually get access to an exclusive bar in which you can just buy things, but there's also apparently free tea and coffee. So we're always oh, Bovril. Did you want some free meat, free meaty gravy? I've never had it before. I've never tried Bovril. We've just missed the announcement of Mudrick. Um, he's now about to be taken onto the pitch at Stamford Bridge. Meanwhile, we're getting a complimentary tea. <laughs> We've missed the highlight of the day <laughs> to get a Bovril and a tea. <laughs> there you go, Ben. It's a bit sad, isn't it? Goal! <laughs> I like the game for me is when the Palace fans applaud in the obligatory 80th minute stewards. Ready to take their little seat. There we go, well played. Palace fans are quality, aren't they? Ben, I wouldn't have that. They haven't heard you saying Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. <laughs> You've been leading this, this entire stadium. Ben, do you know what time it is? It's scones o'clock. I'm going to call mine John. John Scones, did you get it? You know, let's, let's not take a piss here. I, I certainly wasn't. Well, I think you are. First one's through the door. <laughs> I think I just sprained my ankle, Ben. I'm not even joking. I'm, I'm genuinely not trying to be annoying. I think I've just sprained my ankle running upstairs. There we go. There's a little sandwich assortment. And then the, there's like pies and sausage rolls as well. I'm going to grab them and then run to the car. They didn't have scones. They did have sausage rolls with pickle inside. And are they shrimps? Shrimps. Hello, I'm back from Chelsea, so let's do these rankings on my end. But firstly, here's Ben's rankings. Ben, food quality out of 10. Nine. Atmosphere out of 10. From our seat, uh, three. Seat quality. Well, it's padded, um, eight. Value for money. Seven. How likely would you be to go again? Five. So that means Ben's totals came into Bromley got 33 out of 50 and Chelsea got 32 out of 50. So very close, although he didn't pay. <laughs> Neither did I, I might have did, so. Time for my ranking. So for Chelsea, I've gone for food quality, nine out of 10. I thought it was brilliant. Marked down slightly by the tea was cold, you know, but quality of food, very, very good. Atmosphere, I've gone for two. I just think it's, it's weird, it's hard to say because I know Chelsea are in a bad spell at the moment. The, the atmosphere around the club isn't great. It was obviously very unique there with the whole, like a unique day there with the whole Gianluca Cavialli situation, which was, I thought the tribute for the game, to be honest, was, was amazing. But you have to look at it from the atmosphere from where you're sat. And around us, no one was chanting, which I can't really, I'm aware, comment section's gonna let me know there's potentially hypocrisy in that, because I wasn't a Chelsea fan either, so I wasn't contributing to the atmosphere. But everyone around us was a Chelsea fan, and there wasn't very good atmosphere. Admittedly as well, like, there wasn't much atmosphere in the stadium other than from the Palace end as well, so I don't know if that's what Stamford Bridge is always like, but for me, atmosphere, is ranked where it is. Seat quality, I've gone for eight. It was a really comfy seat. There was lots of space around us, so can't really moan. The view was good as well, so eight out of 10. See, value for money is an awkward one because like, look, oh, for me, that's an expense. If it wasn't for a sponsor, would just never have happened, right? So I went, I went for six out of 10. Like I imagine if you've got that kind of money, but I need to talk about it from my perspective, right? Like I thought the good thing was good. It would have been higher. I think for the price you're paying per ticket, there has to be some sort of free drink, even just one or two free drinks when you get there. The fact that not at least one free drink is included in the price, I think is a bit scandalous. Like you shouldn't then have to go and spend 15 quid for two drinks on top of the price you've paid to be there. I think I'm not saying it should be an open bar. But I'm saying there's definitely should be a free drink or two from my perspective as well. But the food was great. Seat was great. I imagine if you are a day tripper, that's, like, I could recommend that more than the Liverpool one I did, for example. And see, for would we go again is difficult as well because I'm not a Chelsea fan. So I put three out of 10. But I imagine if you're a Chelsea fan or if you're someone who's wealthy and has a decent amount of money, your ranking would be higher. But for me, the Bromley one, for example, a regular Bromley ticket is £22. That hospitality was 35 For 13 quid extra, also I need to flag there, Bromley's hospitality is usually 50 But even for that, I still think what you get, you get a player in there full time, you get, you know what I mean? Like there's a lot. But also to be clear as well, Chelsea are a big club. Like you can't just get someone in there at full time with every hospitality option they have. For me, I'd be three out of 10 likely to go again. I mean, I'm, I'm a Leeds fan firstly, but you know, so maybe it's unfair to mark them down on that. I think both hospitality options were very, very good. Uh, for me, Chelsea got an overall ranking of 28 out of 50, which is over half, which for me and my standards 
Bear in mind, I'm not overly keen on Premier League football or like sanitized football or like, you know what I mean? Like hospitality experiences like that anyway is very good. Like I was very impressed with both of them. Let me know in the comment section what you thought of it though. Like obviously, it's on you to let me know what you thought based on the video I've produced. What did you think of both of them? This is likely to be the last hospitality video I ever do. I just wanted to do one more where we were comparing the exact same experience, likewise, both times. So I've been Ellis, and I'll see you very soon for more football shirt content and more away days. Also, just to note, we've now launched an away day shorts channel. I've mentioned it a couple of times. Subscribing to that helps me grow, and it's free to do so. You can check that out and subscribe to that as well. That'd be very much appreciated. I'll see you soon for more football shirt content and more away days. Ciao, ciao. Bye.